Ahoy, lads and lassies! There be a legend centuries old of a lost treasure more valuable than gold. Though the pirates searched both land and sea, they could not find where it might be until Captain Billy sailed the ocean blue and brought that treasure home to you. So grab your treasure map, climb aboard the Caribbean Queen, and join us as Captain Billy Ocean and his crew unveil the greatest wonders God has ever shown. Hi, Ripley Waters here. Hi, we've been out to sea for a long time now, and we seem to be running a little low on supplies. Now, Captain Billy Ocean has pointed us towards the nearest shore, but it's still three days until we get to port, and I'm not sure these hungry men can last that long. So, the cook has sent me up here to see if I can catch a can of tuna for us. So far, I've got a grand total of zero. Yes, I'm not very good at the fishing pot, but maybe we can pray to God and he will help us out. Let's all pray together. Here we go. Dear Lord, you are the God of miracles. Please help us find a way to feed these hungry swashbucklers. In your name we pray. And all my sailors said, Amen. Amen. Oh, excellent prayer, kids. Yes, you see, God is the God of promises and he always keeps his promises. Yes, I just hope he keeps it soon. I'm getting powerful hungry. <laughs> Aye, but God, we can always trust that he will provide in his time, just like he did for Abraham and Isaac. You guys know about Abraham and Isaac, don't you? Oi, that's my favorite story in the Bible. Let's get out the treasure map out right now and I'll show you. Oh. Aye, perfect. Here we go. All right, now, now here it be. As you know, God had promised to provide for Abraham and Sarah a baby. Only they were old. I mean, really old. Yes, God had finally allowed Sarah to give birth to Isaac when she was 90 years old. And Abraham was over a hundred years old. A hundred year old dad. <laughs> Oy, that's a laugh. That's what Sarah thought too. She even named her baby Isaac which means laughter, because she said, God has brought me laughter, and everyone who hears this will laugh with me. Abraham must have been mighty happy to finally have a baby that God had promised him, but then God tested him. It was a whale of a test to, oh, you know what? Why don't I get a volunteer, and we'll sh I'll show you right now. Uh, let's see, who wants to play Isaac? Uh, let's see, uh, right here, you, come on up. Oh, watch yourself. All right, now. Here you go, put this on. All right, and here's your turban. Perfect. All right. Now, you're going to play Isaac, and Isaac means laughter. So let me hear your best laugh. <laughs> Excellent job. Oh, that was the perfect laugh. You are a perfect Isaac, and I will play Abraham. All right, now. God told Abraham to go up the mountain and to sacrifice his son. It, ooh. Oh, sorry about that, pal. I guess I should have warned you before you volunteered, but just have faith. You'll be all right. All right, now head up the mountain. Go all the way up. All right, now. Abraham always obeyed God, and God wanted Abraham to prove to himself that he would put God first, even if it meant sacrificing his own son. Abraham knew that God was in control and that he always provides Oh my, that's some, that's some big faith right there. Abraham had big faith because he trusted that God would keep his promise. Now, you guys remember what his promise was, right? Anybody remember? Yes, God promised him more children than all the stars in the sky. But, well, I'm confused. How is God going to do that if there's no Isaac? Well, I'm kind of confused, and I'm sure Mr. Isaac was confused too. Come on down, Isaac. Isaac said, the fire and wood are here. But where is the lamb for the offering? Well, I think I'd be asking the same question. But Abraham said that God himself will provide the lamb. All right. Now, Abraham obeyed the Lord and tied up Isaac. Put your hands out there, Isaac. There you go. Tie him up. Not good at the knotting either, apparently. All right. 
Right now. And then Isaac laid down on top of the wood. Lay right here, son. All right. And just as Abraham picked up the knife, though I can't watch, the angel of the Lord called out to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, do not lay a hand on that boy. Oh, do not do anything to him. But now I know that you fear God because you have not withheld your son. Oh, oh I'm so relieved. Oh, God kept his promise. And then Abraham looked over and saw a ram hidden in the bushes, and he sacrificed the ram instead. God, so God provided the sacrifice to die in Isaac's place. Abraham named that place, the Lord will provide. Oy, well, I am certainly relieved, and I'm sure our friend Isaac is too. You have had great faith. You are free to go. Let's give a hand for our volunteer Isaac. Oh, excellent picture. Uh, there, Nan. Watch your step there. All right now. But Abraham certainly was right. God kept his promise, and the angel of the Lord told him that because he did not hold back his only son, that he would be blessed. The Lord said, your descendants will take possession of the cities of your enemies, and through your offspring, all nations on earth will be blessed, because you have obeyed me. I will obey God certainly does have its rewards, but I would obey him even if there were no rewards at all. Do you see that? Do there's a whole school of tuna on the port side. Oh, yes, God certainly has provided. Well, I've got to get below and tell them in. We're having seafood tonight. Until next time, kids, may the God of wonders fill your sails and guide your path. <laughs>